Hey there, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. So today this video is a little bit different. Today I'm going to be covering the setup and function of this best way pump and filter that goes with this pool. Normally I produce Jeep videos, repair videos, off-roading videos, a lot of fun. So if this isn't for you, skip this video, come back uh, on Friday and I'll have a new Jeep video up then. But today I'm going to be covering this because I get a lot of questions on how to operate this pump and filter. They use some weird hieroglyphics on the top here. A lot of people don't understand what these mean. I'm going to go through all the functions and the setup of this. So let's get started. So there's a minimum and maximum level to fill the sand up here. And you do have to use special sand, sand that is designed for pool filters. You can't just use any sand. So I recommend actually going to a local pool supply store to pick up a bag. You can order it through Amazon, but it's really expensive because it's heavy and expensive to ship. So now because we added all that new sand to this, you would think the sand would be clean, right? But no, there's a lot of little fine particles and debris in it. So we want to uh, backwash this or actually rinse it. So we're going to take our outlet port off here, save our little rubber stopper. We're going to put the valve here over onto rinse. And now when we turn it on here, look at this nasty brown water that's going to come out initially. So we just want to wait for that to clear up. We're rinsing the sand right now. There we go. That didn't take very long. That just cleans all that initial debris out of the sand. So now that we have it set up, the sand is rinsed, we're ready to just run the filter in its normal operation. I've used this actually for a few seasons, but I just wanted to get this video out because I get a lot of questions like I said. So we're going to put it on this uh, little thing that looks like a play button right here and turn the pump on and that'll take us through our normal filter cycle. And here's a quick little tip. If you have air in your pump here, with the pump off, just take this little lid here, loosen it until that air comes out. A little bit of water leaks out there. Close it back up and you'll be good to go. You can turn your pump back on. You can have a little tiny bit of air in the top there, but that's fine. I also get a lot of questions from people about not feeling enough suction. So here's our inlet here, or going to uh, the pump. There's one here and then there's another one right down there. But you're not going to feel a lot of suction here. There's two ports. They're wide together right here. So if you cover, cover one up with your hand or something, you're not going to feel a lot of suction because it's just going to start pulling from the other one. The way to check to make sure you have good flow, come down here to the return port. I'm putting my little caps on here, but here is where you should feel the water coming out really well That's how you know you have good flow going through your filter So now let's go over some of the hieroglyphics they used here as their symbols. This is really confusing to a lot of people so That right there is our normal filter when you're just running the pump and depending on the day I'll run my pump oh anywhere from like four to six hours a day So that is just normal filter operation the next one I'll cover is this guy right over here because it's easy. That's just off. So that stops any water from going through the filter at all. So the next very important uh, symbol here is this guy right here. To me it looks like a rewind button. That is backwash and that is to clean the sand in the filter. So our little backwash port is right here. So what you would do is you'd put it on backwash right there. Open this guy up and water is going to come shooting out of here when you turn your pump on. Actually, let's give a quick shot here, see what we get. A lot of times you'll see this, it looks uh, kind of brown initially. So let's turn the pump on. And we'll just run it for a minute. It actually doesn't look that bad. Turn our pump back off. And I'm actually going to use that off. There we go. Our little rubber grommet back in there. Prevent leaks and our cap. So the next function we'll look at is this little one here that looks like a raindrop. And that is the rinse mode. 
And so that's used after initial setup when you put the sand in at first or after you back at backwash like we just did. So we just backwashed all that sand, kind of rinsed it. Now the rinse feature is going to just kind of help level that sand back out and get it ready for filter. So let's run this for a second. And that should do. Our sand is all rinsed now. The next symbol we'll look at is this guy here, which, so the arrows, it's like little arrows going down, and that means drain. So you turn the pump on with that, and it's just going to drain water out, pump water out. And honestly, I never use that. If I want to drain the water, I just disconnect it and let the pool drain on its own. And the last symbol we're going to look at is this guy right here, which is recirculate. And now that what that does is that just pumps water through your pump, bypassing the filter. So it just goes through the pump and then back to your pool, not going through the sand filter. And I guess you would use that if you were doing like a chemical treatment or something that you didn't want going through the sand, or if you're using the vacuum. I actually have a video on how to use the vacuum. And if it has the little collection chamber on there, you don't want uh, the resistance of going through the filter. Uh, you can use that uh, recirculate function right there. But as I said earlier, I'm going to put this back over on the one to me that looks like a play button. And that's our normal filter operation where I run it for a few hours a day. And I also get a few comments about the pressure, what pressure uh, I run at. So that's a look at where I'm at and things that are going to affect your pressure obviously are how much sand you have in your filter. If it's overfilled or if you have a lot of sand in there, uh, you're going to run a higher pressure, right? Just more resistance. The other thing is this solar heater, just more resistance, right? The more resistance you have, the more pressure you're going to have. And another recommendation I have, buy yourself some upgraded, a little bit better equipment. This brush I have linked in the description below. It's a great brush. I really like it. The pool came with this uh, brush that goes to the vacuum, which honestly is kind of terrible. You know, the vacuum kind of works, but as a brush, it's just awful. So this brush has worked really well for me. I highly recommend getting a, a better brush. So, so this pool brush, along with some other essentials like a solar cover, solar covers work really well on this. That's all linked in the description below with some other fun stuff. So check it out. Thank you guys and have a good day.